I can't I can't say for hundred percent certain, but I looked into um, I have in my possession my great great grandmother's um, certificate of baptism. Oh. From England from like it's like 1850. Yeah. <coughs> That's the exact same thing. It said uh, given name and then family name. Mm -hmm. So again, it would just be me assuming, but I would I would it's a good guess that the statement of birth is actually a secular form of a statement of baptism. Well, you're without exactly. without attaching so you're not you're not into the birth certificate realm, you're just well, that's a document that's stating this person was born or this individual was born on this date. It's really just a Well you're exactly right. Baptismal records and family bibles yeah. are the two forms of identity that are legally accepted without a birth certificate. See, the data off of here is transposed onto the birth certificate yeah. and register. Yeah. And the word register in law means to abandon. Yeah. yeah. So how many different set of documents do you carry with you and what are the names of them? Well, this is, well, the reason why I have two of these, oh, this is something very cool. I just did two weeks ago. I drove to Ottawa. When I get documents from Notarize, I always get like 10 of each, so I have lots. And that way I don't have to worry about sacrificing one to a court or to a, a whatever. So these are the same documents. The distinction, I went to the Department of Foreign Affairs and International Trade in Ottawa two weeks ago. And this is now a passport. I can use this to passport, and when I was at Service Canada and said to the woman there, this document's a passport, isn't it? And she said, yeah. Without hesitation, she said, yeah. <laughs> I've got to look into this more. So a year has gone by. And I found out some more stuff, and I ended up at, at the Department of Foreign Affairs in Ottawa. There's not one in Toronto. But if you go there, they have a process called uh, legalized. They, this document is now legalized. That's their terminology. Uh, you bring over documents, you can take up to 10 at one time, and they stamp. They confirm that the notary is authentic and that it's a true document. And they stamp it. And what it says is that uh, the Canadian Department of uh, Foreign Affairs and International Trade, trade means commerce, right? International Trade has authenticated the foregoing uh, document and signature. And then they put, there's two autographs on that, and then they put another stamp on it that says Department of Foreign Affairs and International Trade. So you go there, it's like a Hungarian delicatessen, you take a number, they start at about 10 a.m., and they start calling people in. And mostly it's lawyers who are getting like death certificates legalized because they're executing estates and, and stuff like that. There's not too many weirdos like me there. And uh, you can take up to 10 at a time. It took me four hours to drive to Ottawa and four hours to drive back. And so I figured, well, I'm there for the day anyway. So I took 10 in the morning. I went and had lunch. I went back in the afternoon. Took another number and I got another 10. What I did was in the morning, I got 10 of these done. And then in the afternoon, I went back with uh, the valuable token. So their terminology for the short form birth certificate. To advertise them? Bond. They, their terminology for that is a valuable token. And it is valuable if you know how to use it. And so I got 10 of them stamped for trade at the Department of Foreign Affairs. And uh, so I'm just about to start using them to see what because if, uh, if they work the way I think they're going to, I'll have some very interesting news to report um, and we'll upload it to YouTube so that everyone can see it. Uh, who's got another question? So, so basically you're saying you only really have one document. 
Because <laughs> that's my question: is well, what, what, how many doctors do you carry, and what what does it mean to them? Well, the only one I need, I feel I need to carry, is the statement of birth. The statement of birth. My and then after you went through the process, it, had, it gains more, I guess, quote unquote, power. Well, no, I just like to carry more because I can, and it doesn't hurt. No, I mean after you went through the four years, now also became a passport as well. Oh, that oh, okay. You go, yeah. Now with this. If I go to uh, the American Embassy with this document, say I'm going to passport, I'm traveling on this day, this time, these are the, this is the document of identity that I will be using, and you get the uh, American Embassy to stamp it, right beside where the Canadian Foreign Affairs is stamped it, now it's both, it's been recognized <laughs> by both governments. The border guards are irrelevant. So basically you have to get that done at any country's embassy around here that you're planning to travel to. Yeah, so you can leave that country with a picture ID and get on the plane. What, when I do this, I'm going to have a camera on me and I'm going to film it. Because I know no one no one will believe me. Yeah. And secondly, I just want evidence and information that I can share. So Are you planning to fly or cross like the Greek? Uh, if you want to stay. Both. Yeah, try flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Do you do you, uh, you have a document right to travel for driving? Or is that what you use also for right to, your basic right to travel while you drive? <laughs> oh, I drive a lot. I drive like you know? Do you have a document in case you get stopped? Do you use a right to travel document? What do you use? Just, Just your live birth? Are you talking about time to give it a truth? So you don't even like consent to even reason with cops, talk to them, you're not bargaining with them. You just show them, I'm not a corporation, <coughs> done. <laughs> okay, we have time for two more questions. Can you, uh, can you please explain when the first one you came into the system to why? Well, over a span of about 30 years, they were gradually introduced. Finally, by uh, I believe it was 33, everyone who was born um, got sold to the government. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, the very first ones, from the best I've been able to ascertain, in the late 1800s, they started issuing them. But uh, prior to that, uh, baptismal records, as our friend mentioned or the family Bible is where birth records were kept. Um, was that around the same time as the Federal Reserve was created? Well, the Federal Reserve Act was passed in 1913. The, in 33, there was a bankruptcy. All the Commonwealth nations, uh, Canada, states, New Zealand, uh, England, and all the other Commonwealth nations, there was, there was a bankruptcy. And the, the international bankers came in and said, OK, well, we have a mechanism whereby you can continue to conduct commerce even though there's no money. Pledge your citizens as collateral. And that's, and that's, and that's why First Clifton is worth a lot. It's a bond worth a... Well, there is, there is no money. There's debt and there's credit. And you can use credit to offset debt. But in reality, no bills can be paid because there is no money. Yeah. Okay, we got one more question. One more question. What's this corporate entity you say? If you don't have a driver's license or anything, then you said your car is registered under your corporate entity. Yeah. Right? Are you a free man? You have a first I'm name a but no last name. Soul. Okay, so then what's this corporate entity? John Todd Legal Services. Just make anything up you want to. Fifteen hundred bucks. Oh, no, 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 no. It cost me $180. <laughs> <laughs> what was the process? What was the process? What was the They're creating corporate fictions. The point to you is the trustee is tricking you into thinking that you're in, in reality the corporate fiction when you're not. So I have no problem creating corporate fictions and registering vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, has a link to all the all the videos. Okay.
Okay, that's great. All right. You have a time to take a few questions.